Hey, what's going on? Daniel from D7Cs. Hope you're doing wonderfully well. Uh, today, I am super excited because I have an unboxing for you. But before we get into that, today's book of the day is The Coffee Bean by Damon West and John Gordon. If you haven't ever heard about the whole coffee bean story, I highly recommend uh, for you to check it out. You could Google it, YouTube it. It's just a really powerful um, kind of like a life lesson that Damon West shares with us in his experience um, in prison and just how this little story experience changed his life forever. So anyways, great little read, very short, very easy. If you, you know love books, I really recommend this, all right? So with that being said, today's unboxing, I'm super stoked because um, it's something that was on my radar but not really on my radar. So Anyways, let's just get into it. Today's uh, knife of the day is my Hinder XM18 3.5 inch non-flipper. Love this knife, so let's just get right into it. Uh, this package is courtesy of American Edge Cutlery. I believe that's the name of the retailer I got this knife from. And this knife is actually... Uh, let me just open it and show you. Okay, let me just make sure. Oh, that's amazing. So um, there's a, that's the retail I'm talking about, American Edge. Um, they ship super fast, have really great knives, and yeah, highly recommend these guys. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but yeah, um, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to put that right there. Uh, let's go ahead and move the receipt. <laughs> they give they gave me little uh, little lifesavers. Cool. How cool is that? I love these little kind of things that you know, like companies like American Edge. They do. You know, they just do a little extra. You know what I'm saying? So here we go, Microtech. I feel like we have to say it like that, Microtech. So standard Microtech box, uh, and this is the Stitch Ramlock Single Edge Fluted G1010. <laughs> so yep, uh, if you are familiar with Microtech, this is kind of like their standard box, you know. Uh, so let's just open it up. So you know, I believe the the Stitch Ramlock or the Stitch Manual came out in this year, 2023. And so um, it's not that new, but still kind of fairly new. Look at that. So here is the, oh, cool. It comes with like a little sleeve thing. And then, of course, their standard, oh, sticker. How sweet is that? Bozamos right there, right? Um, and then a little bit more about their company, what they're about. Um, yeah, just standard stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you've owned any of the microtech knives this is the type of stuff that you'll just kind of get as a you know as a standard cannot put it back in the sleeve all right so here is a knife oh man so stoked put that aside now i've had the uh the auto stitch about a year ago if you check back in my archives i made a like an unboxing first impressions video on that guy and interestingly enough i made a prediction that um, Microtech is going to come out with a manual stitch and I don't think I was the only person saying that I think most everybody in the knife community wanted uh, a manual version of this knife because it's just it's such a dope knife uh, so here it is here's in that fluted uh, G10 10 scales I know it also comes in aluminum and then there's also G10 like frag pattern I think those are like the only two scale patterns, uh, scale materials that comes with at this moment. But I'm sure they're going to come out with other types of stuff in the future. Um, and yeah, it's interesting. This is a, a redesign of the pocket clip. Um, let's just open it up. I'm super stoked. Okay, just blade is absolutely centered. It has a really good heft to it. Um, I believe this comes in at about five point something ounces. Uh, let's just open it up though. Oh, boy wow okay 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 holy smokes what a knife you know oh, wow that's nice it has a very much the same impressions um that i got when i had the auto stitch other than that the auto stitch it comes out with a thwack when, it, when you press that button it just boom flings out i like this i like this Ooh, i like that wow Wow, wow. Rock, rock solid. 
Oh, wow. Check it out. So this is in the stone wash. I know there's like an ap- apocalyptic finish. And I've seen some other types of finishes, but I really like the stone wash. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. This thing is a beauty. This thing is a beast of a knife. Wow. You know, the stitch is one of those knives that really l- leaves an impression. You know, like it, it just visually is very... It leaves an impression in the hand. It, it leaves an impression. It's a really, wow, what a beast of a knife. Oh, my goodness. This is very nice. Very, very nice. Um, Wow. Everything is just, I believe this is a titanium uh, backspacer. Wow. This ram lock is very robust. I'll t- I'll, I'll say that right now. I've heard you could actuate it with one, like on one side, on either side. So let me try that. Yeah, I could. I could do it with one finger. Interesting. Yep. Oh, nice. I like that. So essentially, you don't need to do this pinch grip, you know, to close it. You could actually close it with one one finger, either on this side or on this side. See that? Yeah. Very, very nice. Wow. I like this a lot, guys. So what I didn't know is that this is actually like a, I think a, a, a second iteration. The original one uh, didn't have the reversible pocket clip. Um, also, the pocket clip itself was different. Other than that, I don't know. I don't think there was any other changes, but I'm glad they did give us the option to to um, make it like lefty friendly, even though I'm not lefty. But I'm glad they, they thought about the, the lefties out there, right? Uh, this is, wow. First impressions is very, very nice. Um, quick size comparison since I have my XM18 three and a half inch. Um, I would say it's slightly longer than the three and a half, but just by maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, wow, this is a, man, this knife is super sick. This feels very good in the hand, just holding it back like this. But I know it's really mainly the optimal grip is this, and this feels like, oh my gosh, ready for business. Wow, this thing is, holy smokes, what a knife, what a knife. Dang, this thing is, wow. I'm very impressed. Oh, the action is very easy to spidey flick. Let me try to, th- yeah, I could kind of thumb flick it. I'm just going to have to probably practice it. The detent is not very uh, sharp. It's not a sharp detent. You know, I think it's very much reminiscent of like, um, I would say like the Spyderco, uh, the Manix, the, the ball, the Spyderco ball lock. Um, maybe like an access lock, even though I know it might be similar in some ways, but I've heard this is a little, actually a lot more of a robust design than the access lock. Um, but wow, I, I really like the action is very nice, very positive click when it goes back in and a very positive click when it's locked out in this position. Um, my goodness, what a knife. What a knife. I, I could see why this thing is like literally sold out everywhere. I haven't seen these in stock all that all that long. And once once it's available, it seems to go like sold out within a day. Um, I could see why. This thing is one heck of a knife. One heck of a knife. Wowzers. So I'm going to go ahead and, and carry it and use it like always. And I'll give you guys more of a long-term review. But honestly, the first impressions is this is very nice. And and I like, I really like this tan G10. Um, I feel like the black G10 is really good. It's really cool. But this tan color kind of gives it a little bit of a different vibe. Um, ah, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Just a close-up. This was made. December of 2023 so Merry Christmas <laughs> wow man what a knife look at that stone washing on that M390 MK oh wow let me check the edge Ooh, wow the edge is very screaming sharp I could just feel that just sticky edge 
man, I love the stone washing. Seems like one of those types of stone washing where it kind of has like a, almost like a, a, a kind of a, a mirror kind of a finish, as you can see, kind of the reflection. But man, I like this a lot more than the apocalyptic finish that I've seen out there. Um, ooh, ooh, that is meant for business. Let's check that out. So it's like stone wash, and then it looks like it has like a machine satin flats right there. So it's like a two-tone finish going on. Man, this thing is a beauty. I like how there's not as much billboarding. It's just the Microtech logo and then the Borka Blades logo and then the M390 MK and that's about it. That's just that's the like the most minimal billboarding I've seen on a Microtech knife. So um, I'm glad that they went in that direction. But um, of course, a pocket clip. You know, just proud to be a Microtech, right? <laughs> Wow, what a knife. What a knife. Oh my goodness. This thing is... Oh, wow. Anyways, that is my first impressions, guys. I am very impressed. This is one heck of a knife. And I'm so glad that I was able to get this into my uh, collection. So with that being said, would love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. And if you like what you're seeing, you know, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right? With that being said, I will see you guys later.